Hello, today I'm going to show you how I made a box for my battery bank um, very cheaply and easily. It starts off with a plan, a little pencil and paper, um, sketch up uh, what, we're, what we're going to do and uh, then make sure the dimensions are all going to work and fit. So let's zoom in on the battery. First I know that my batteries are 100 amp hour each 12 volt uh, sealed batteries mostly because it was the most economical choice out of the different uh, versions that I saw available for sale. And uh, so we'll start with this. Okay, so this is the configuration of my batteries. Uh, it's gonna make a single 24 volt, 800 amp hour battery capable of holding 19.2 kilowatt hours of uh, juice uh, because you can only use about half of that 9.6 kilowatt hours of usable space. But today we're building a battery box and so the important thing is to know the dimensions here. Uh, since each battery was six and a half inches by 12 inches, um, I need you know 24 inches and 46 inches, so 24 depth, 46 width um, on my box. Um, and I'm going to build my box a little bit bigger than that, um, but I know that that's the the minimum um, you know width and height uh, that I need. So this is a little outside of the scope of this particular lesson of building a box, but I plan on charging those batteries with eight uh, 255 watt solar panels um, wired in parallel. So they'll put out 12.2 kilowatt hours of juice on a daily basis, usually depending on how cloudy or sunny or whether it's summer or winter, but um, enough on good sunny days to charge the 9.6 kilowatt hours of uh, battery juice that I plan on consuming on a daily basis. Okay, so now to the box. Um, decided to use three quarter inch TNG oriented strand board. Um, I was able to make this box out of two eight by fours. Um, and when I went to Home Depot, I basically brought this little schema in with me and showed them that I wanted, you know, two 64 inch by 32 inch, two 64 inch by 16 inch, and two 30.5 inch by 16 inch. And they cut them for me using their freaking awesome plywood tool cutter board and it made it a lot uh, very very convenient um, aside from the fact that an 8x4 um, you know board wouldn't fit in my car but the uh, the cut down versions the 64 inch by 32 inches biggest did fit in my car so I was able to um, you know get these cut uh, at Home Depot by the way each of these boards was uh, were, were 20 bucks a piece so my total cost for building this box was uh, you know, about 50 bucks. So, you know, two two boards, two 8x4s, that's 40, plus some wood glue and some screws. This design also calls for um, those uh, four 2x4s that are 16 inches um, each, and um, that'll provide a little bit of structural integrity to the box, um, and you'll see in a moment how that works. The first thing I did after getting all my pieces cut was to glue the 2x4s onto the end of the side pieces. Alright, so I've got these cut, um, made some, made my own 2x4s out of my, if you can see that in the background, the, the lumber. <laughs> I just found a, didn't have any 2x4s so I used this. I just, using stuff that I have. Uh, wood glue here. Should be enough. And then, but, yeah, I know we already have one of this, but. I no, I just don't think you have to smear it in. Well, just need to spread it out. I don't care about smearing it in, but spreading it out is important. Okay. I know this because I watch YouTube. Oh, good. <laughs> I learned it on the internet, so I know it's true. <laughs> I will quote you. <laughs> okay, so get the glue all over. See, the glue is a little extra. We're going to use wood screws in a second, but uh, I just want to make sure Bean. that's lined up pretty good there and there. that, and that on one on both sides, kind of 
hold it in place while I part and take breaks. That's mine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yum. You stay here. You cold? Okay, looks good to me. Alright, here we go. Now we're gonna get underneath and go all the way around. And about the middle. Two. And three. Nice. Not being exact by any means and just kind of three spots, three screws. Using a deck screw because that's all I have <laughs> at the moment. It's just a little bit too long for the application, but it works. Okay, so here's the end uh, result. These are the end pieces. The two by fours are going to be uh, facing outward in this um, application of this box build. Okay, next I use the C-clamp to, uh, to hold glue on the ends and then uh, you know put the, the front and the back on and uh, hold with the C-clamp uh, while I put four screws in. Okay, for this stage, what I did is, as you can tell, um, put these boards on and rested them off like this and then I uh, put glue on the on this side, like striped it all the way down, and then used the clamp just to hold it on um, temporarily while I uh, drill the pilot hole. This little screw here, and uh, then I'm now proceeding to just drill these things in. That's the first one that split on me right there, but that's not that bad. As you can see these drills are these these screws should do good. If you look, you know, at the length there, they're getting in there. If I drill them in, you know, just past, that's far enough to hold on, make a good uh, a good sink into the into that wood. So now I can back this off. Now that the screws are in there and that will hold on just fine. So now I just got to go do the other side. Okay, so basically what I did here was Put on, you know, I rivet here, here. Well, first thing I did, I mean, I put glue all around the on the base and the top part, so all the way around. Glue, you can see a little bit's leaking down here. I don't really care. And then, uh, so what I did next is just laid this on top and lined it up, and then uh, drilled pilot holes first with the same pilot hole maker, and here and here. So I did, you know, those two on every thing, and then. I did another pilot hole here, you, as you can see. And then I started just kind of going, you know, about that far apart every time. Chink, chink, chink. So it's kind of symmetrical, but you know, not exact science. I just kind of went like this with my fingers and drilled the pilot hole and put the screw in. And so now, one of the things I was really worried about is that it was going to split the wood, but I didn't have any cases. I think the pilot hole helps not split the wood. So pilot hole and then the screw, and I don't think I have any splittings. So this is gonna be the bottom now, and I'm gonna flip this thing over and uh, put it inside at this point. So yeah, these little two by fours right here really help give it some extra, uh, you know, extra support. Okay, so I got it in side the shed now and back up a little bit so you can 
kind of get the perspective. It's in the shed. It's kind of funny how it, it's like the same material. By the way, these little pieces, I was able to like eight by fours, how big they sell them in. I think like eight, eight by four, I was able to make this box out of just two of them. They're 20 bucks a piece. So this is a basically a $40 box plus wood screws, the screws and the glue, you know, and I already had the saws and all that stuff to make it. So really like 50 bucks total with the glue and the, and the screws. So $50 box right there. Um, I can drill holes in it to seen a lot of people using piano hinges, but I use these. They work fine. Um, worked out great. So, and they were a lot cheaper. Da, 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 da. Box. Cool. <laughs> and special feature, it's camouflage in the um, shed. So you can barely, barely notice that it's here. <laughs> it blends in with the shed. Yeah, you walk over here and then you hit your shin. Yeah. That's anyway, what keep you when you're bad in trouble. Yes, when you get in trouble, we'll put you in here. Oh no. <laughs> no, thank you. I would not. And here's the setup that I have right now, which is what got me interested in this hobby in the first place. I've uh, just got a 2000 watt um, inverter there and uh, just a pair of uh, batteries being charged by 100 watt um, solar panels that are up on the roof of the shed. Um, so anyway, this is uh, just a, a, a little basic thing uh, that got me started and then, you know, that's when I realized I really want 16 of these batteries, not two, and uh, need the battery box in order to uh, keep it safe from, you know, uh, tools getting dropped on it or something like that. It's just got to keep those batteries uh, protected. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Take care.